place an image on a canvas and then open up a new layer and draw these lines. These lines are going to be the guide to the correct size and placement of every feature of the face. You will see I made several mistakes until I finally did the right uh, right proportions and that's okay this is like a um, workout for you <laughs> except you're working out here on your drawing skills so this is it's okay for you to make mistakes and like everybody else I'm all constantly learning <coughs> see I've been uh, drawing and racing drawing and racing until I finally uh, fix the features I made some mistakes of judgment of placement of the nose like right here you will actually see that I kind of messed up entire face all the features but it's always good to um, take an image and then layer it on top of the actual photo and then you will see which features need to be moved where and and fix them to correct to correct proportions and sizes All right, here's the part where you put a image on top of the photo and you fix the placement of the right features. See, I did it right there and now I moved it back because I did not want to just, you know, copy it all over the actual image. So I move it back and I'm drawing all my features right now and you will see how it's going to turn out to be a good image. Here add a new layer and place it underneath the outline of your drawing and paint it in. This is actually where you will be working on your your values. I will not be color picking values from the, from the photo like that, but actually I will be looking from uh, by an eye by squinting and placing my own colors inside. And this is the traditional way you do it in art schools. And this is a great way to actually learn the correct values when you squint you will see I, I will be adding more and more darks because after I would squint I would see it's not dark enough as in a actual photo so this is a process of uh, adding and repeating I always start first uh, with the dark and then move to light that's how I've been trained in school and I think it's a lot easier that way once I reach a certain point of uh, all these uh, uh, value placements, I will merge the outline with the actual um, values and I will be blending them in together so that the outlines will disappear and the, the drawing will look more uh, painted like. Uh, to switch between a brush and a blending brush, you press shift and letter B. B is for the brush. And you shift it a couple of times, I mean press it a couple of times until you reach a uh, blending brush. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.